Hi Scorpio, this is your March 18th through the 24th weekly. Tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be on new love coming towards you this week. Spread number two is uh, love for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread we'll be looking at love from the past. Uh, we'll then talk about your work, your business and your finances in the fourth spread. And uh, we'll wrap things up with the fifth spread which is all about what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have uh, the two of wands, uh, clarified by the lovers. We have the king of wands, clarified by the three of wands. We have the emperor in the potential outcome. Uh, we have the will of fortune with the star and the sun. And we have the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, fire sign. There is Lyra Sagittarius. We also have Gemini and Aquarius <laughs> on the table. But you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well, Scorpio, I'm very, very impressed. And I think you're going to be impressed as well. This person, the King of Wands slash the Emperor. Yes, the King of Wands and the Emperor is the same person. Okay? This person um, is deciding to move forward and become somebody who is married. All right? you're gonna have such an effect on this person that perhaps in the past this person wouldn't even consider getting married or if they were to get into a relationship they would be like let's just see what happens but with you this person is like this is it this is it I think this person is just falling madly in love with you it's one of those realizations you know sometimes I've heard this so many times from different people that sometimes they meet somebody and they just instantly know this is it this person is the one I want to marry this person is the one I want to have a family with and that's exactly what I think is happening to this person it's like they're gonna go through this conversion right I think all of this is because they will instantly see you as the love of their life. That's that's what I think is happening. Yes, the king of wands and the emperor, it's the same person. And uh, the emperor, they're stepping up, right? They're, con they're changing. They are transitioning from the king to the emperor status. There's nothing wrong with being a king, but in this case, this is just the way of the universe to show you that, yes, this person is stepping up. The emperor is a husband figure. Right, the emperor is somebody who is larger and in charge. The emperor is in control. The emperor knows what he or she wants. The emperor is uh, getting is somebody who is, you know, a, a husband or a spouse figure, right? Then the the king wants is what the, what they're embracing right now. Again, there's nothing wrong with being a king, but the emperor is somebody who is taking it to the next level, right? And it's kind of symbolic that we have the cards that we have in the left in the main spread on the left, right? We start with the two of ones, right? It's classified by the lovers, and the king of ones themselves is classified by the three of ones. So we're moving from two to three. And the lovers classifying the two of ones is simply a confirmation of what the two of ones means. The two of ones is a card of somebody who is making a choice, right? And I, I don't think they're choosing between you and, this, and somebody else. They're choosing to step up. They're choosing to... Uh, commit to you because again they think you're the one okay so we have we're moving from two to three the three of ones is a card of somebody who made up their mind somebody who made a decision and this decision is final right and uh, what what the decision is is to become the emperor somebody who is not single somebody who is not just dating but somebody who is married somebody who is in a commitment the lovers clarifying the two of ones is also a card of a choice Right, but uh, the lovers is also the love of your life card. <laughs> right, in my opinion, the lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers is the love of your life. Right, that's why they're doing it. They're in love with you. They see you as the one. Speaking of you being the one, in the potential outcome, we have uh, the will of fortune with the star and the sun. And uh, we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. All cards in the potential outcome are major arcana cards, right? All of them. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, but it's the start of a new cycle in the next level up. Because it's uh, in the potential outcome. The star is a card of a wish come true, right? It's an Aquarius card, but it's a card of a wish come true. So I think this person is instantly realizing you are everything they ever wished for. <laughs> and the sun is a card of clarity. One, this person is going to be 100% clear what you mean to them. And what they want with you, right? And besides that, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. The Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the happily ever after card. So you got the happiest card in the deck and the happily ever after card. 
right? Uh, it's a family card. It's a card of a commitment, marriage. And uh, it's one of the, it's the best card when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. Wow, Scorpio. I am impressed with this person. You have this amazing effect on this on this individual. <laughs> but all of this is in the name of love. All of this is in the name of that. All right, really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already married or if you're in a relationship, Scorpio, this card is for you. We have uh, the Two of Cups, the Star, um, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Cancer or whatever your person's zodiac sign is. You know, I gotta be honest with you. The first thing I thought of, you guys are going on like a dream vacation or honeymoon. <laughs> or perhaps you're going to someone else's wedding. If this wedding is uh, remote and you have to travel, and by travel I mean by train or plane or car, like long distance. You, this spread is about going somewhere long distance, right? Not just an hour away, longer. Longer than one hour, unless you're traveling by plane. <laughs> Maybe one hour is good. But yeah, we got the Two of Cups, it's a soulmate card, we got two people in it, right? It's a card of when two people are on the same page, both people feel the same way. Okay, so it could be you and your person, right? Or it could be another couple who are like getting married uh, this week. The star in the middle could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a wish come true. Okay, so it could be a wish come true for you, <laughs> for someone else, or say you have a daughter or a son who are getting married, it was a wish come true, it was, you wished for them to get married so they could move out. <laughs> I don't know, right? Uh, then we have the chariot. Uh, it's one of the fastest cards in the deck, so this, this card often comes through as a card of travel or transportation, and so is the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This card often also comes through as a card of travel, and the thing about the Six of Swords, with this card things usually get better, alright? So for some of you, maybe you're moving, relocating, like literally moving to a home or a neighborhood or a city where you always wanted to move to, or something like that. But this is a, this is a great spread, alright? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your Scorpio this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent X. We have the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with uh, maybe an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You know, Scorpio, I'm going to be very straight to the point. <laughs> Even more to the point than I usually am. Sometimes I look at spreads and I just ask myself a very simple question. What do we not have on the table? What's missing? What we don't have on the table in this case, what's missing is love. There's zero love here. Only hatred, only... It feels like a war zone. Like literally a war zone, <laughs> right? So you may have somebody coming back wanting to start a war, wanting to have some kind of a revenge. This person is not a happy camper, right? This is, this is not a lovey-dovey spread. This is, this is a, a spread of a war. Right? Well, not literally, but uh, this person's got, they're pissed off, they've got something, something is wrong here. Right? So this person is coming back to start a fight with you, basically. Okay, so be careful with whom you uh, communicate with when it comes to people from your past, especially exes. Or maybe you chose somebody else over them at some point in the past and uh, now they're all pissed off about it or something like that. So be careful. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Scorpio. This week we have the Devil, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Uh, we have Justice, clarified by the Queen of Cups. And uh, we also have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Capricorn, Libra, or any Zodiac sign. Very specific reading. Very specific reading, Scorpio. It's like you are discovering the truth. You're calling someone out. Somebody's trying to sell you a lemon, somebody's trying to cloud your judgment, then uh, you will see right through it. Right? Maybe you're dealing with a con artist who, who's gonna call you and try to sell you as a subscription. <laughs> but it could be something bigger. It could be like a corporate... Uh, somebody who is trying to get you to sign a contract or somebody who is trying to sell you. It could be a merger. You know, and you're going to be sitting there and you're going to be like, are you freaking serious? Are you freaking serious? You, you're calling someone out. You're calling someone out, someone's BS out. And you're rejecting them. You're rejecting them. But somebody's going to try to persuade you. 
right? They're gonna dangle this very juicy carrot in front of you with the devil and the seven of cups, but uh, you're gonna cut that right, cut it right out with the ace of swords. The ace of swords is the ace of truth, and I think this is where you come in and you're gonna call it out. You're gonna see right through them. You will even tell them their whole scheme, right? The Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a rejection. And that uh, right next to the deck we have the Queen of Cups, clarifying justice. You're the Queen of Cups here, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And justice, this is what you're doing. You know, you're the judge and the jury. Maybe you are a judge, <laughs> Scorpio. Let me know in the comments down below. You see how in the justice card, uh, the person in there, in one of the hands, they're holding up scales, and the, in the other hand, they're holding up a sword. That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. So you're like, no, it's you're selling me a bunch of BS. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Scorpio. We have the Seven of Cups clarified by death. <laughs> we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands clarified by the Four of Wands, and uh, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We're back to where we started, Scorpio. We're back to square one. We're back to the first spread, the new love spread. What you're not expecting, I guess, is this uh, King of Wands stepping up. Perhaps you already talking. You're already talking to this person. Right? And perhaps uh, before this week, you were not 100% sure, right? If this person is the one, if they're gonna step up, if, uh, you know, maybe you're, maybe you are looking, maybe you're talking to a couple of people, okay? And this week, you'll be like, yes, this King of Wands is the one, and it's not because of uh, just something randomly happening. I think this King of Wands is gonna do something this week that shows you that, yes, they are the one, yes, they are ready for a commitment. Right? That's how I feel. <laughs> the Queen of Cups in the middle, that's you, Scorpio, right? To the left from you, we have the Seven of Cups, clarified by death. The Seven of Cups is a card of a multiple choice, or it's a card of like not being 100% clear, not knowing for sure, and death, clarifying it, is actually also your card, right? That's your major arcana card, Scorpio, but at the same time, it's a card of an ending, right? So that uncertainty not being a hundred percent sure is gonna come to an end this week because this king of wands is gonna do something right uh, the king of wands is clarified by the four of wands the four of wands is a card of a commitment or marriage so I think this week they will do something that uh, puts your suspicions or uncertainty to rest <laughs> all right they're gonna do something that shows you that they're serious about you the four of wands clarifying them that's how they feel that's what they're that's what they want to do. That's what, they, that's what they want to have with you. It's a card of a commitment or marriage. That's what the 401 says. All right, then the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true, right? And, and uh, it's also a card of satisfaction and fulfillment. Maybe it's a card of some kind of an event, right? In some tarot decks, the Nine of Cups is a card of a, an event, right? So perhaps some kind of an event will be um, the start of a new chapter between you and this person. And that's what you're not expecting, Scorpio. Alright, so that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.